Hi everybody, Mike from the Digital Media Lab here today to show you guys how to do some basic brushes in Photoshop. We're also going to look at adjustment layers inside of Photoshop and we're also going to look at combining those two things in a mask. Let's get started. We're going to start with some basics of how brushes works inside of Photoshop. So we need a new document. I'm going to go to File New and create a new document here. I'm going to go ahead and select Photo and double click Default Photoshop Size. We'll go ahead and hit Control-0 or Command-0 on a Mac to uh, set the zoom size of my document so that it fits. I'm going to go ahead and hit the B key so that I can grab my brush tool out of my tool palette. The hotkey is B. I'm also going to reset my brush tool to make sure that we're all using the same tool. I recommend that you do this as well. I'm going to right click the brush tool up here at the top left and select Reset Tool. By default, the brush tool will be set to a very low brush size. So there's a couple of ways that we can change that. The first of which is to simply click this little drop down menu and we can adjust the size and hardness in this menu. I'll go ahead and tap the enter key to commit that change. I can also access the same menu if I right click anywhere on the canvas. You can see here I can adjust my hardness and my size the same way. Just like before, I'll tap the enter key to commit that change. The last way is you can activate the HUD by holding down Control and Alt, that's uh, Control and Option on the Mac. And if I right click with my mouse and I drag my mouse up left and right, I can adjust the diameter and hardness. So diameter happens if I uh, move to the left and to the right, and then hardness happens if I drag down, yeah, up and down. I'm going to go ahead and set my hardness to zero. I'm going to set my diameter roughly here. It's not important that you get the exact diameter, just as long as you get it close. And I'm going to simply click here on the left side of my document. If for any reason you don't see what I see, make sure that your foreground color is set to black. The brush will use your foreground color, so you can simply change your color in your uh, color panel over here. It's important to note that the brush, you'll notice that it actually extends beyond the cursor here. You can see here that where I clicked, softness of the brush extended beyond the cursor. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I set my brush to 50%. And let me change that. We can see here I got a little bit softer, uh, not quite as soft as a brush, but still some softness around the edge. And then if I set my hardness all the way to 100%, again, tapping the Enter key to commit that change, we can see here that I get a very, very hard brush. The next thing I want to show you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust my uh, diameter down a little bit and keep my hardness somewhere in the middle. If you want to change the color of your brush, you can simply kind of go up in here in your swatches and adjust your color. It will only use the foreground color inside your tool palette. So if I click and drag, you can notice, you can see here, this is kind of how the brush works. If I click and I hold down my shift key, it will constrain my brush to a 45 degree angle from where I started. I can also click a single time, hold down shift, and if I click a second time, you'll see here that it'll complete the stroke between those two clicks. Now, this is just a basic overview of the, how the brush tool works. There's actually, if we go in here to window and uh, brushes and brush settings, we can see here that there is a lot of stuff inside the brush engine. It's a little bit beyond the scope of this course, but I want you to know that there's a lot in here that you could play with if you were interested. All right, in part two, I'll cover adjustment layers.